Welcome to how to create Mac OS 14 virtual machine on Hyper-V virtualization. I instructed step by step installing Mac OS Sonoma on the virtualization of Hyper-V. Let's get started. Before creating a Mac OS virtual machine, you download a file called UEFI. This file is responsible for putting Mac OS on Hyper-V. In addition to the UEFI file you need to have an additional Mac OS recovery file. So you download the tool called OpenCore. OpenCore helps you download different versions of the Mac OS operating system. These are two folders after being extracted. You continue to see how to use these folders. In the folder named OpenCore you pay attention to the subfolder named Mac Recovery. The files in this folder help us download the recovery file of the Mac OS operating system. But they require your computer to install Python. So I installed the Python application on the Windows computer as above. After completing the installation of Python, you go to the folder named Mac Recovery as mentioned above. You open the command window and browse to the Mac Recovery folder. Next I downloaded the Mac OS Sonoma Recovery file. And here is the command to download the Mac OS Sonoma recovery file. You make sure the Windows computer has been installed Python before using this command. Then you just need to wait until the successful download. This is the folder after being successfully downloaded. We use them in the next steps of this video. I created a new folder called Mac OS VM on the partition C of Windows computers. This folder stores the necessary files to create Mac OS virtual machines. I copy and paste the file called UEFI to the newly created folder. Next, mount the UEFI file by double click on it. 
This is the virtual hard drive file of Hyper-V virtualization so it can access files on Windows operating systems. Now I added recovery files to be downloaded in the previous step. These are files that help the Mac OS virtual machine boot and install the operating system. After completing you eject the virtual hard drive. The preparation steps have been completed, now I create a new Mac OS virtual machine on Hyper-V virtualization. You name the virtual machine and customize your virtual machine storage. I store virtual machines in the folder created in the previous step. Mac OS Sonoma Virtual Machine requires minimum memory 6 GB. Do not forget to allow the virtual machine to connect to the Internet. Mac OS Virtual Machine has been created now I customize it as follows. You disable secure boot. You add guest services. Then you disable checkpoints. Next you add a new hard drive called UEFI prepared in the previous step. This hard drive helps boot Mac OS and install the operating system. Now the virtual machine has two hard drives. Because UEFI helps to boot virtual machine, so set up a Mac OS virtual machine to boot from this hard drive. You set up the virtual machine step by step as above to ensure the successful boot Mac OS. You can review it again to make sure the settings are correct. After completing the steps as above, you start installing Mac OS Sonoma on Hyper-V Virtual Machine. After successful boot you format the hard drive and install the Mac OS 14 operating system. Above is step by step creating a virtual machine Mac OS Sonoma on the virtualization of Hyper-V. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like and register. It takes about 30 minutes to 1 hour to complete the operating system settings. Good luck! However, you cannot create Mac OS virtual machines if you use AMD processor. This is the result after completion.